or there is no one to blame for this other than myself. I f***ed up. In a new video, James Charles is addressing the allegations that he was having inappropriate conversations with minors, and now fans are reacting to yet another apology from James on this topic. Let's get into all the details. Before we get into the contents of this story and the allegations James addressed, I wanted to issue a quick trigger warning that we'll be discussing some serious topics in this video regarding misconduct involving minors. Over the past couple of months, new instances of James Charles engaging in inappropriate conversations with minors on social media have continued to come to light. And over the past month, multiple boys who said they were under the age of 18 posted on social media alleging that James solicited nude photographs from them, sent them explicit photos, or sent sexually explicit messages. We aren't going to get into all the details of their videos and DMs to respect those minors' privacy, but James has previously addressed allegations like this, for example, his No More Lies video from 2019, but he also defended himself in a tweet from this February where he claimed one of the accusers had an ulterior motive to publicly accuse him of grooming. But now James took to his YouTube channel and shared a video called Holding Myself Accountable, where he both apologized and took full accountability for his actions. James alleged that in both cases, he asked how old the boys were, and when they said they were 18, James wrongly believed them and engaged in flirty conversations. James claims that it wasn't until later that he found out that they were only 16 years old, though there is some discrepancy on this because one of the boys has claimed that his real age was in his bio. These conversations should have never happened, point blank period. There's no excuse for it, there's no if, ands, or buts, and I take full responsibility for that. I trusted the information that was given to me rather than the information I could have and should have gotten myself. James went on and said that he's embarrassed that he didn't do the research he should have because as the adult in the situation, the responsibility falls on him. To the guys involved with the situation, I wanna say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I added you, I'm sorry that I flirted with you, and I'm really sorry if I ever made you uncomfortable. It is completely unacceptable. James also got candid about how he ended up in the situation in the first place and admitted how reckless he was being when it came to dating and did some self-reflection as to why. It sucks and it is ridiculously embarrassing to admit this, but I think I have to and that is that I'm desperate. It goes without saying that there is no excuse for James' behavior, including desperation. And so James says that he's now taking time to hold himself accountable and has been speaking to professionals behind the scenes. James said that he'll be taking some time off to further educate himself on these issues and promised to no longer use his Explore page or For You as a dating app. He also apologized to his fans, family, and friends who have had to endure yet another apology video from him about this topic. And now, people have been taking to social media to share how they feel about James' video, and James Charles quickly started trending on Twitter. One person wrote, quote, He's just gonna keep apologizing and going back to doing the same thing every time this happens, huh? This Twitter user chimed in writing, this is the sixth time James Charles has accidentally had sexual contact with a minor. Gonna go out on a limb and say it's not an accident. This person called James out for lying about not wanting to be in a relationship with a younger person and shared this clip from a previous interview. I'm not physically attracted to older guys, which sucks. Like I would date like the absolute youngest, like 18, 19. And others called James out for posting this serious video on April Fool's Day, though he did address that in his video, saying he didn't want to wait another day to put the video out. People have also been pointing out that other celebs, including many that he's worked with, like Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian, have unfollowed him on social media. And many others are calling for further investigation of James by officials. James hasn't spoken out any further on the situation and he hasn't posted on his other socials in a few days, but we'll keep you guys informed if we hear anything else on this situation and if there's any sort of formal investigation reported. Also, we'll link some resources down in the description below in case you or anyone you know needs them. But for now, you can click right over here for another Clever News video where we break down why James was removed as the host of Instant Influencer and then let us know your reactions to James' video down in the comments section below. I'm your host Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr. and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye y'all.